Welcome to the Green Wisdom Health Podcast with Dr. Stephen and Janet Lewis, where you will learn about natural solutions to common ailments. And now, here are your hosts, Dr. Stephen and Janet Lewis. Hello, and welcome to this week's fun educational show. I am Janet Lewis. And just because I said something about exciting, she won't say that anymore. So men, there is a time to keep your mouth shut, and that's usually most of the time. <laughs> oh, we have had such a response for you from you guys. We are Green Wisdom Health, by the way, home of the low-cost lab work. Uh, in case you're wondering who we are coming to you, talking to you, um, we are here to educate you about your health and Many of you uh, have many questions about your health, and that's where I was going with this. We want to thank everyone for asking all these questions about their health because it's prompted Dr. Lewis to read more, which he already does anyway. So I've got bags under my eyes. I think that's a hormonal issue. I hope my prostate's not as swollen as my eyes. We literally, you should see his desk. He's got... I, there must be 10 books open that's sitting around with uh, tons of posty notes in every one of them. I, I can't keep him in posty notes because he marks every page like we do in the Bible where we're highlighting everything. <laughs> he does that with his health books. Um, but this week's show is uh, going to be fun and entertaining because we are going to talk about hormones, men and women's, because we've actually had men asking about theirs as well. It's not just for you ladies. Uh, we're going to talk about the thyroid connection to these hormones, and we're going to discuss swollen prostates, because I know that all fits together. Uh, so um, anyway, Dr. Lewis, do you want to start us off with what you'd like people to know, and then we will make sure we get to everyone's question that they've asked and uh, try to come up with a very educated answer for you. Well, you know, it, I, I'm just going to give an overview of the questions. We'll get more into them. Uh, you know, Alice uh, said, how about hormones and thyroid or, or how about how hormones and thyroid are related? Uh, then there was one I just really, really wanted to get to. Um, Sherry says uh, thyroid, uh, menopause and weight loss. Uh, yeah, that's when a man should shut up, not say anything. Uh, Trisha, oh, God bless you. You're the funniest thing on the face of the earth. Why do some people stink when they sweat and others don't? <laughs> Thanks, Trisha. I don't know where that fits into our <clears throat> hormone thing, but we'll, we'll no, an answer no, that No, no, I've got an answer to that. Uh, so on the uh, Shooting Straight with Dr. Lewis, which I invite all of you to join, uh, I told on Trisha. Face, on Facebook, Before, if you don't know what he's talking about, he does have a closed <clears throat> Facebook group called Shooting Straight with Dr. Lewis. So if you would like to get in on these questions and ask ask. Them also. Axum? Yeah, I know. I already. <laughs> Lizzie Texas. Borden. Uh, it's okay. Um, you can ask questions on there <laughs> and uh, we will address them in the following week's podcast. Yeah. And, and like I said earlier uh, that on a previous podcast, I don't normally talk this fast, but I have to trying to get this in. So when Trisha asked that about stinking, I said, you've gone from preaching to getting personal there, Trisha. Uh, here's one from Jonathan. He's hilarious. Uh, he said, I know you said for the ladies on this one, but here's a title for the prostate podcast. Enlarged prostate. Got to go. Can't wait. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. That's cute. You know, cute. that might work for women, too, some, though. It's not just a man's prostate that has that issue sometime. And Kelly wants to know about PCOS, which I'm going to get briefly into because that could be a long long show so kind of tell us what's going on with with the hormone situation of why why are we having so many hormonal issues i know back in the day you did not see all of these uh places around town that were offering pellets and uh creams and things we that just wasn't an issue and now it's all over the place so what what exactly is causing it what can we do about it is there a healthy alternative where do we go? Yeah, it, well, it's the plastics and phthalates that I talk about that uh, mimic estrogen. And, you know, you have to, and I, I hear this every day, but I eat good. No, you don't. You may eat better than the rest of the population, but you cannot eat good because even organics not as nutrient dense enough to have enough uh, nutrition for your body to detoxify. So, yeah, I try to eat better, but... Um, so basically, is having a thyroid issue um, an indicator, or how do you know you have a thyroid issue, I guess, A, when the doctor tells you you don't and you know something's not right? Um, how is that related 
to the rest of the hormones. Is there a tie between those two? Yeah, you know, I've said this about the liver, but it's probably a little bit more true about the thyroid. You know, if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And the thyroid is just getting bombarded with bromine, fluorine, and chlorine, uh, which takes the place of iodine. And I know that gets controversial if you have Hashimoto's. Um, uh, Estrogen dominance, though, uh, makes you go into a progesterone deficiency. And we see that about 99 times out of 100. And I try to get most women to... Uh, at least once to test their hormones, even if they don't have any kind of signs and symptoms of a hormonal imbalance. Men, uh, we have just added a new panel for an expanded uh, lab panel, and it's Dr. Lewis's low T panel, or I think that's what we're going to name it. Uh, that's going to even test your estrogen and or estradiol and progesterone, which is really, really important. But the symptoms of a low thyroid, which is the majority of the the thyroid problems, and I won't go through all of them because it's way too long, uh, can be migraine, muscle pain, uh, your husband doesn't look good to you anymore, and reduced ability to sweat, Tricia. Uh, So if you're sweating, your thyroid's probably doing better. Hair loss or thinning on the head, and that can be male or female. We're getting some pretty good results now with uh, people that are sticking with it and getting more, better, thicker hair constipation, depression, disturbed sleep patterns, but it has a lot to do with uh, the difficulty or inability to lose weight, um, infertility, and heavy menstrual flow, and that's that was where I was trying to go, uh, you know, because it does mess with other hormones, and I'm trying not to go down the rabbit trail for Dr. Amanda. <laughs> She's cute. She comes over here and picks on me. Um, So, yeah, I've gone down a rabbit trail, Janet. Get me out. i got too much to talk Uh, about. Okay. Well, I think we need to explain to the audience and people that are new listening, uh, when you talk about the thyroid, are you talking about a TSH? Is that what you're referring to as far as, uh, is that on a lab? Is that something they're seeing? Can you explain a little bit about what is different about the way you look at a thyroid versus yeah. the way the doctors look at it. And, and for the people out there that have lost hope and they're looking um, and they know they don't feel good and they're overweight and their hair is falling out and they've got thin uh, eyebrows and, and not a thin waist. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that wrong guys? Yes. And irregular menstrual cycles and, and that kind of thing. What are we looking for on lab? You, what are you running on lab and what are you looking for? You don't want to just rely on TSH because that is just the signal from the pituitary in the brain. And normally, most of the time, if your thyroid's working good, the TSH will go on the low end of the range, which usually is a 0.4 to a 4.5. You want it to be about a 1.5 or below. And that does vary depending on the patient, depending on, you know, if you're on thyroid meds. Uh, the main thing is uh, free T3, although we like to look for T4. It needs to be in the middle to high range, and then we can help T4 convert uh, to T3. But, uh, you know, you you, you kind of want to look at all of it uh, as a big picture. And I like T3 uptake because usually the higher it is, the better. And usually the lower it is, the more estrogen dominant or, or your own birth control pills that's, um, you know, causing some of that uh, hormone replacement therapy. And I'm not against anything the medical profession does, because I think they do a really good job in a lot of areas. But uh, why are we not healthy? And that's another thing. It it just agitates me. People say, but I research on Google. And I roll my eyes and say, okay, this one's not going to get well. And I just talked to a sweet lady that's my age, and uh, she says, yeah, my daughter thinks she's in control, and she's driving me and my husband nuts and he doesn't want to go get his cancer treatment just because uh, she's pushing him well google can get you so full of information but not understanding so please be careful and and i suggest you go to somebody that you can trust um, for some of these answers and you know let them have the final say but you have to have that gut feeling of trust uh, just to talk about women's hormones in general um uh, and I know I've read entire books about how estrogen will make you young, rich, and good-looking and make you feel better. And I understand that. If you and your doctor decides to do that, that's great. But you've got to understand that estrogen supplementation increases your risk for breast cancer, 
heart disease, and other health problems. And what is the first thing they give women that are going through menopause is estrogen because it makes them feel great. For, I, for a little while. And it does. And we see it on lab because, you know, they'll come in here and it's like, well, their estrogen's nothing. And then they'll go get uh, hormone replacement therapy. And they come in and go, oh, my gosh, I feel so good. I, it's it's like I'm back again. I'm like, okay. About three months into it, they come back again and say, well, you know, I don't know if I'm going to take that next round. I've had two rounds of the pellets now, and, uh, and I'm beginning to think that they're not working as well as they did the first time. We see women with more testosterone than I have. Yes, and so... We run their lab again, and they're at an increased risk of heart attack and stroke. Um, they've begun to gain weight, which is a big no-no for women. That is what we do not want. Yeah, and that's we can men, feel horrible and be thin, but we do not <clears throat> want to be happy and fat. Yeah, and men should never say anything about that. <laughs> You'll get your head chewed off. That's right. And um, <clears throat> ouch. And it just it, and it's still got the problem. <laughs> so it's not that you're you know you're not making those hormones anymore. So the you know the best thing that w- we give people for that is to try to get them to um, we try to bring out what they have left and we supplement with natural compounds and we always stay away from estrogen. The only time we ever use an estrogen product, we have something called an E3 cream that's the lowest dose possible. That's for you that have dry painful intercourse. That's right. It, that's and it's cut to the chase. Yeah, and it's it's not for intercourse. It's just to, to help uh start making that not so dry. But as you do more of our supplements, you actually don't need that anymore. So that's a that's a short term, temporary, symptomatic fix. Um, the things that we use for it is things like DIM. Uh, the Estro DIM is a is a huge one because it goes in and and uh, gobbles up all those bad estrogens, and it helps balance out the hormones. Um, we have one for uh, the menopausal symptoms now that we're really thrilled about. It's called Film Quill, it's F-E-M-Q-U-I-L. We've just gotten it, and it's already a big hit. Yes, it's, uh, of course, women keep telling us, well, we have hot flashes, um, but it actually supports and balances the female hormone hormone cycle. It eases symptoms associated with PMS and menopause, and it helps promote estrogen detoxification. That is an important one because that's the problem. Um, And it also provides antioxidant activity and cellular support. So that's something you can take without lab. You don't have to have lab to do that. It's just if you're suffering from uh, PMS or um, (laughs) or any kind of. Men, wrap it in a red ribbon, put it in the middle of a bunch of chocolates. Are you saying it helps with sex drive? I guess that would come back if you had that balance. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little slow. <laughs> I should get to the chase, cut to the chase. So for for the women that it, it may be from the thyroid itself, or it may be generally it's a progesterone deficiency, which is made for the most part in the ovaries and somewhat in the adrenal glands. But if you have these dysfunctions like PMS and depression, the decreased libido, sorry, Janet, had to put that in there, uh, fibrocystic breast, uh, food cravings, uh, uterine fibroids, irregular and... Uh, excessive bleeding, uh, endometriosis. And there was a question about PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. That's usually a sugar handling problem, but there is plenty, plenty, plenty of research that says that's because you're also full of the plastics and pesticides and phthalates uh, that cause you to be less likely to handle sugar correctly. And, you know, we tell you to get off sugar and simple carbs anyway. Pre-diabetic symptoms. Yep, is is usually what that is. But usually, when they have that, they also will have um, uh, painful menstrual cycles, and um, we actually have one for those girls out there too. I know we're talking about menopause a lot, but there are a lot of young ladies out there listening that have painful menstrual cycles, and it's called Gabanol. It's G A B A N O L uh, because it helps promote muscle relax relaxation say that three times fast and it eases um it helps alleviate exercise related muscle pain and the gaba in it guys will make you look better so you know put that in the package uh surround it with chocolates okay everything's (laughs) going into chocolate today so uh (laughs) i'm sorry (laughs) he is the he is the woman in our relationship he loves the chocolate and i don't so it's kind of funny (laughs) yeah she's a strange woman that's what makes her special (laughs) Uh, um 
So anyway, make sure the thyroid's balanced because if it's not, you're going to have problems with all of those things that Dr. Lewis talked about. Um, you want to make sh- it actually one of the first signs of having a thyroid imbalance is that um, you don't go to the bathroom right. You don't digest your food correctly. And that's one of the very first things that we hear when someone gets their thyroid work and they're like, oh, my goodness, I'm going to the bathroom more often than I ever have before. <laughs> And it's because the, feels good, don't it? Yes, because the thyroid has sped up your metabolism and digestion. Some of the brain fog went away because you're not swimming in your own excrement, and it's it's flushed out, so you can think more clearly. Yep. So, Alice B, we hope you're enjoying this segment on the uh, hormones <laughs> and thyroid and how it's connected. Um, and you've got to think about your hypothalamus and your adrenal glands as well as your pituitary and uh, thyroid. And we do have supplements for that, too. And then the other question was from Sherry R. She uh, wanted to know more about why it was so hard to lose weight and when they're postmenopausal. Um, because you've got low testosterone to start with. Okay. You've got a bad uh, bad digestion, bad gut, not enough probiotics in it, low vitamin D. You got parasites, which is almost always yeast. Uh, <clears throat> I, I tell people that the parasites are not your teenagers. I know it seems that way, but sometimes it's something different. So basically, they're craving more bad stuff because of uh, yeast, virus, that type of stuff that's in the body that takes over and craves it and wants more of it. Is that correct? Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, uh, One way to tell if you have some of that, uh, we're coming up here on the full moon. Uh, When you have the full moon come around, it seems that you crave more of that kind of stuff if you need to kill off parasitic. Yeah, agitation gets a little bit uh, more acute. And it's like, well, if you feel agitated and squirmy and wormy, oh, we've done that show. Never mind. And if you're like, and I'm not picking on it because it's Texas, but here in Texas, we have a lot of Mexican food. And if yeah, it, I love it. Yes, and if it seems to be you're wanting a bunch of that during the time of the full moon, it could be that you have a lot of yeast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, feeding the parasitios, or I can't speak Spanish, but I know cerveza. Does that count? <laughs> Which also feeds yeast. Mucho frío cerveza. I got lost in Mexico. I told them, I said, I know chicken and beer. We're good. <laughs> but um, the things that Dr. Lewis was talking about, the probiotics actually kill the yeast back down. Uh, there's something called Parashield that we use. Um, there's one called Candice Forte because it, you take less pills of it. But um, those are they're good at detoxifying. They're good at helping you not crave bad things. They're good at weight loss because you're not eating the bad things. So, um, yeah, weight loss is hard for being postmenopausal. A lot of it's because you are estrogen dominant. Um, I will and tell high, you that high they, estrogen, I got to throw this in okay. high estrogen can mess up your thyroid. So is it thyroid messing up your estrogen or the other way it can go both ways? Well, Sorry, again, Janet. That goes back to the product. I think that everybody, every woman should be taking, even a young woman should be taking and it's estrodim because it's the, uh, <coughs> it's going in there and unbinding all of the bad estrogens and helping uh, you lose weight. It actually gets your shape back to the way it was when you were younger. Men should take it too because yes. that would help uh, decrease the propensity toward swollen prostate. So if you know if you're if women can tell that their shirts are not fitting like they used to through the back, like you're thicker than what you used to be through the middle, your hips are bigger than what they used to be. That's an estrogen problem because the body doesn't know what to do with it. So it just stores it as fat and those are safe places to put it. And fat cells actually make estrogen. So the, 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 I know fats in this offensive word. So those men that are fluffier have lower testosterone because you have fat cells that are actually creating estrogen, not just an estrogen receptor. So, so dim is a great thing for that. For young women, one reason uh, or one way you can tell if you need it is because of irregular menstrual cycles. And I know they're giving you things now to not have a menstrual cycle for like seven months, a year or something. Oh, Lord, run. Just run from it um, because it's just making everything down the road harder for you. Whenever you get older, you're going to have all kind of health problems because of that, because that's that's not a normal thing, even though that's a great idea for women at that age. Um, but it actually does create a lot of the things we're talking about down the road that's very hard to reverse at that point. Um, but DIM 
will actually go in there and make that be right again. So if you're having painful menstrual cycles and they're coming too frequently or not, you can't count them on the month when they don't arrive within 28 days again, the next month, DEM is a big thing to help balance that back out. And it's also something great for women that are trying to conceive. So um, if you're having conception problems, that is another problem of estrogen being too high and not balanced. So um, hopefully y'all have learned something about balancing those. Um, <laughs> and I'm let Dr. Lewis take this because he, he just loves these uh, questions that are different. And that did come from <laughs> Tricia M. <laughs> we do. She wants to know why some people stink when they sweat and others do not. How close are you getting to their armpits, Tricia? Of course, that could be my colon story. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there, there's actually studies that said women found that men that ate vegetables smelled better than men that ate a lot of meat. And, uh, and then I actually took a big seminar one time that said vegans start stinking because, you know, that's not really a healthy way to eat. And I know I treat dozens and dozens and dozens of vegans. I'm not trying to be judgmental, but uh, people that eat a lot of meat do stink. Part of it is uh, it's what the bacteria do with what you're sweating out. And the other part of it is you may have the wrong bacteria there. So uh, then there's uh, when you get afraid, you know, very, very stressed, then sometimes that will um, tend to be uh, more odor filled. So I think if you eat more vegetables, that's going to alkalize the body, give you more um, minerals, and it will stink less and less. So if you're healthy, you really won't have that kind of body odor. Sometimes it's heavy metals. I, you know, I can smell some people uh, sometimes their breath and it'll be metallic, but you put them on a cleanse after a while, it begins to, the odor changes and you can smell different things. If you pay attention, you know, I, I've and the sm- ones with the big bellies, they seem to smell a little bit more. Those big round bellies that well, aren't dumping because they're so full of, they're, they're more yeasty. Well, they're not eliminating like they should. Right. And so their belly is just getting bigger and bigger. So that all starts coming back through the skin. So they need to make sure their colon is going every time they eat a meal. Same thing with the breath, though. If you have bad breath, that's uh, you know partially the, the probiotics that are lacking in the mouth, which is the salivarius uh, strange, which is lactobacillus salivarius or streptococcus salivarius. Uh, you can re-inoculate, re-inoculate that. We do that a lot. Okay. Now, the men have been waiting very patiently to hear about prostate health. So thank you, men, for going through this whole show and listening about women again. We Um, have not been patient because, as Jonathan said, enlarged prostate. Got to go. Can't wait. Exactly. I I like that. Jonathan, you're you're awesome. (laughs) So uh, we've got we've got questions from Jonathan that wants to know about it also, um, because his he says he's on uh, Flomax. Um, and an enlarged prostate. He's having severe congestion as a side effect. Do we have any alternatives to this medicine? And can you tell us what's going on with the prostate? Yeah, we have uh, natural aromatase uh, inhibitors. And that is normally, <clears throat> you know, some in America we use a lot of salt palmetto. And there's a, there is a difference in the quality of some of the salt palmetto you get. And that's a really good thing. Uh, but that's a 5-alpha reductase uh, inhibitor. And then you want something that has stinging nettles root, which is really, really good. Uh, And you've got to understand that when I'm talking about prostate, these things also help you unbind the testosterone you have. Say if you have 400 testosterone, you only have 50 of it unbound. That's all you can use is 50. So it helps unbind it too. Stinging nettles is really good. Uh, We have it by itself as nettles also. And it's really great for women's urinary tract things too. So not, not just for men. So that's. Yeah, and then pygium bark extract. You know that that really comes from Africa. They, a lot of these better companies will source it from all over the world and and get the better stuff. Um, the natives actually use this to support urinary tract health, and that has something to do with a lipo lipoxygenase enzyme. I, you know, some of this stuff is. I, I tell people, I'm I am not a biochemist. Don't want to be. Don't like chemistry. I was on a podcast the other day with a pharmacist, a pharmacist, and she was asking me chemistry. I said, oh, good Lord, you know more about chemistry than I do, but here's the short answer. And she was like, oh, my God. Um, 
So, yeah, we have that. And, and then formula should always contain zinc, selenium, and copper. And, and that's really good for prostate, but it's also good for being anti-cancer and, and immune system boosting, too. And you almost nobody gets enough of these, and, and these minerals are being de- displaced by cadmium, mercury, aluminum, lead, you know, that kind of thing. So, and What's the name of that product again? That you were talking about that had all of that in there? I've got memory pills, but I don't remember to take it. It's Prostatrol Forte. Folks, prostate does not have two R's in it. It's prostate. So Prostatrol Forte, that's what I take. It says one a day. I take two. But, you know, by taking two, I don't have to get up in the middle of the night to go tinkle. And that's worth a lot, you know, a little extra deeper sleep. And the estrodim also helps that as well, correct? Every man should take that. But the prostatrol forte also helps with uh, testosterone and unbinding testosterone. So that's really a smart thing to do. So I'm going to get off this in just a second. But if you started to gain weight and problems urinating, but men, if you have breast enlargement, You've created what you've been thinking about all these years, I think. But no, if you have breast enlargement, the man boobs, Janet shook her head like, I can't believe you said that. Uh, yes, folks, I can believe he says that. Well, hey, I'm having a good day. I'm thinking about chocolate, so I'm, I, I, maybe I can manifest it. Um, <laughs> maybe you can have men boobs, too. <laughs> uh, mine are pretty good. Um, I look pretty good for 168, 170 pounds. Um yeah, that's that's an estrogen thing. So yeah, get on this prostatol forte. It's it's really a good thing. But that's what I take, and I can take anything. So, well, and um, if you're wondering, hey, I don't know if I have problems with all this. I don't know if the thyroid's right. I I don't know. Well, you know what's going on. I only know what my doctor told me is going on. And many times that lab was not very thorough. We do offer low cost lab work for those of you that do not know what we do, which I can't believe you don't by now. But um, the new listeners out there, I would tell you if you're going to uh, find out what's happening, the best thing to do with the with the hormones and everything we discussed today, you need to see what your hormones are doing. Um, the, probably the best panel that we have for that is our comprehensive plus female hormone we've got that one or either the comprehensive plus male hormone Um, they are on our website when you go on our website you want to make sure that you pick the ones that start with gwh and the one for female is gwh1 and the one for male is gwh2 and the reason for that is that it includes dr lewis's very thorough consultation with you Uh, He actually calls you and talks to you and tells you what's happening with your lab. Or now we offer Zoom where you can see him in person. So Yeah, you can see my mustache. Whichever way you (laughs) like to have it, if you would like to look at him and it's like you're virtually sitting in the room with him, we offer that as well. That comes with it. We uh, give you a functional medicine report. And we give you a recommended recommended supplement sheet of what he is suggesting you take to help correct the problems. Because with our supplements, it's not like uh, going down the road and just buying them in a store of something we've mentioned. All of our supplements are pharmaceutical grade, which means they're actually three to five times stronger yeah, more absorbable. and pure and mm-hmm. absorbable than what you're buying over the counter. So there is a difference. And for those of you that are going blah, 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 no, there's not. Yes, there is because we see it on lab because we see people that try to take what we've given them and they buy the cheapo stuff and they say, hey, I've been doing just what you said. I said, doesn't work. Yeah, it's not moving your lab numbers. You can keep taking it all day long, but it's actually not helping anything on your lab. So, yes, there is a difference. Uh, I'd like to make a quick mention. You know, like when Jonathan uh, finished his question, he said, I really appreciate all that you do. Thank you. And I just talked to a lady up in Oregon that was actually referred out of Texas from uh, Wilson. uh, It's the one that referred this lady. You know, share the podcast because the more you help other people get well, the more God's going to bless you with better health. And let's take this tense nation and make it into something that's healthy and happy and and having a good time. Because now I'm so sorry, but I've got I've gotten so busy. I've decided, you know, you've got weeds and flowers. And if you're a weed and a pain in the butt, I, I spend my time with flowers. So thank you, Jonathan, for voicing. Your appreciation. Thank you for blooming. 
Yeah, and then you got people like Lewis, and he 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 just keeps ordering. I never talked to him, so Lewis, you know who you are. I think you're out of Indiana. You know, call me. I, I miss you. But you know, the more joy you give, the more joy and health you're going to get back. So you know, let's try to be the difference that we want to see in America. I like that. And on that note. We are going to wish you well for another week. And uh, like I said, go to Shooting Straight with Dr. Lewis on Facebook. Uh, send him a friend request. He will accept it. And then you can start getting in on the conversations, too. You guys have a blessed week. Once again, our show has come to an end. But your hope and your health is only beginning. If you or a loved one are in need of a different outcome and are waiting for a brighter future, take the first step and go to our website and fill out the health survey. Please don't keep us a secret. If you know someone that could benefit from this podcast, please share this show with your friends and family. You're only one step away from a life worth living.